Hello guys, so starting off in Blender, um, first thing I'll do is um, I'm just going to make sure my screencast is turned on so you guys can see anything I do on here. So I'm going to delete everything by pressing A twice and deleting. And then I'm going to go to my scenes, change the units to metric and 0 0.01 to match the scale of Unreal Engine. And press N for the uh, sidebar and change the clip and distance to 1 kilometer. So it kind of um, doesn't delete anything from the scene. Now I'm going to go to Shift A and add a plane and press 1 and 5 on the number pad to go to the orthographic view and the front view. Then I'll do RX90 so that's um, rotated on the X axis 90 degrees. Then scale on the Z axis down um, about here and scale on the X axis to make it longer. So now if you guys have seen um, wind turbines you guys will know that the that the wing shapes vary a lot so there's no uh, there's no specific type um, of a wing you guys can obviously um, use some um, references from Google or, or something and make whatever shape uh, you guys prefer so now I'm going to press E and Y to ext um, extrude on the sorry not Y so E and X I believe yeah to extrude on this axis and I'm just going to take this down about here then E and X once again so this uh, this just kind of gives um, the wing a little bit of a shape from that side and on this side I'm just going to move this right in the middle first of all and once it's in the middle Control shift alt c origin to 3d cursor so press tab now and I'm going to press E and extrude on the x-axis so make this about here and then E and X again and make this about here so we have like a shape on our both of the sides now and of course again I'm just going to move this here and control shift alt c origin 3d cursor so move it around in the middle now I can press alt d and r z sorry r y 120 so make sure that um, each of your wings have 120 degrees between them as that's um how it normally should work out if you were to look at the um, axis and then alt d again and r y 120 and now they have um, equal distance between them so all the wings have equal distance and then i'm just going to press, uh, press z to make sure that they all are in fact in the middle which they are not so i'm just going to move them slightly around here because this is the um or I guess it's, it's actually okay, so it doesn't matter if it's just a little bit off, it should still be fine. And I'm going to press Ctrl J, and now they're all one, so go to solid, and now they're all one. The next thing I'll do is um, I'll go to my modifiers down here, and I'll do uh, an under um, generate near the bottom. We have a solidify, which adds more of a, um, basically adds some more surface to this because currently it's just a plane there's not much to it and if I change this up to one you guys will be able to tell the effect it does so now if, I, if you were to look at it from the side it doesn't disappear but earlier if you were to look at it from the side it would completely disappear so if I press 3 you guys can still see um, some of the wings so we don't want our wings to be completely thin so once you're happy with this um, this is the first thing we'll go to file and export FBX and down here so i have already been working on a few so i'm just going to save this as my uh, my wind turbine wings to fbx so once you've done this um either you can leave this here or you can delete this or save this as a blender file i'm not really going to do any any of that i'm just going to go to a new layer and do shift a mesh and add a cube now this step is compulsory. this step is um really to if you guys um, want a base for your window otherwise if you have in mountains perhaps there's no point having this block down here because you could rather just have um like a just the um, cylinder starting off not the actual block so once you have done this um then i'll just go shift a mesh and cylinder so down here you can change the um, vertices for example if i was to turn this down to let's say six you can see that now it's it just doesn't really have a round shape to it at all so the higher this number is for example 124 the more round the shape will look but of course the higher you have this number the higher your tris count will get so actually yeah i'm just going to leave it 124 but make sure you guys watch out for your tris count and make sure you know it's not uh, reaching the sky or something 
And then I'm going to scale this in about here and move this up. Again, go to front view, pressing one on the number pad. And then I'll press tab and Z so I can see um, all the vertices and select them. So press C, drag across the top, take this up. Now the windmills are normally quite tall, so uh, for whatever you do, sh shouldn't be too bad if you do make it quite tall. And then just press tab. Now uh, we do have a smooth function inside Blender. So if I was to select this, as you guys can see right now, you can see these like I'm um, kind of the um, edges still. But if you press smooth, uh, all the all the rough edges will actually disappear. But um, there are some issues between um, using Unreal Engine Smooth and um, Blender Smooth as um, they don't always go well together since uh, Blender is not completely optimized to be used with uh, Unreal Engine and the um, other way around as well. So once you have done this, um, I'm just going to select this and this. So this and this and then I'm going to do Control J to join these two together and I'll export this as um, so file export FPX as the base for the wind turbine. Now the third thing I'll actually um, also add is I'm just going to add it in here. Now the reason I'm keeping that one separate is um, I'll explain that later on when I get to Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to add a cube and press Control 1 or Control 2. Once I've done this I'm going to apply the modifier down here. So I'll press 1, go to S and Z, scale this down, S and X and just going to drag this up all the way here. So this kind of serves as our um, engine bit that we normally have at the top of the um, turbine. And I'm going to change the shading for this to smooth. Actually also one more thing I want to do is, um, so when we exported our base, so select this, we go to File, Export, FBX. Make sure you do um, selected objects because you don't want everything in the scene to be um, exported with the same thing. So once you've done the um, selected objects, then I'm just going to save it over my base again. And now I'm going to select this and go to File, Export, FBX and I'll call this um, the engine, perhaps, yeah, the engine and select the objects again and then export. So it only um, exported this object right here. So once you're happy with um, what you have um, done here, we'll go to Unreal Engine, which I already have opened and I was already, of course, working on, um, on a few um, different um, windmills, just um, experimenting and I'm, um, I'm playing around with things. So I'm going to go to import and go to my base 2, my engine 2 and my wing 2 and just open. Actually I'm going to do them separate so and I'll explain that in just a second. So first I'll do the base and the turbine base and open this and I'll make sure the normal input method is compute normals and I guess this one, the MT space works nicely. So compute normals once you have done this, so import both of them, or just click uh, import all. It's going to delete two, is this um, imported two? So now if I open this, um, we have our base in here, and there's no issue, but if, if you were to um, import it, for example, if I was to show you guys, um, so just to give an example, I'm going to delete this, and go to import, and um, this time I'm going to import the base. Uh, with the like import normals and maybe built-in right so if I do that and you click import I don't know if we'll see yeah so now you guys can see that um although it's it looks a lot smooth since um it has taken the smooth the um, smoothing details or kind of um, some of the smoothing details from Unreal Engine down here you have this dark shade which looks really nasty and even if you were to let's say um, apply a material onto this then you can tell the effect a lot more. It's not pure white. It has this um, black shade near the bottom. If you're happy with it, then that's fine. But um, I'm not happy uh, with this effect, so I am just going to um, delete this and bring it in the other way I showed you guys, which is compute normals and T space, and then import. So I'm then going to go to right click and asset actions and create blueprint using this which um, we will save in or you can just go right click blueprint actor and I'll call this uh, wind turbine BP next thing we need we need our wings so uh, turbine wings too and then import 
Uh, but this it doesn't really matter because they, uh, they don't have any um, smoothing groups, so it doesn't matter what settings you have done here. Click import, and we have our rings in here. And you want to make sure that both of these have the material. I'm just using a plain white material for this. So yeah, the uh, plain white material. Just going to use that on both of these. And then back here, we have one more thing. So the engine, we need to bring in the engine as well. And for this, I'll do import normals and built in import. So now what this has done is, um, if you were to do it without um, the... So as you guys can see now, it has it has kept the, um, the um, smoothing information with it. So you can see it looks smooth. Otherwise, what would have happened is if you had it with your mesh, um, attached, you would get this, um, th these um, fragments, so it looks really low poly and doesn't really fit the scene very well. And of course, the same thing, I'm just going to add a um, white material to this as well. Now inside the blueprint down here, I am going to drag my windmill onto the default route, and then the engine onto the default route. And then the wings onto the default route. But right now, it's what it's done is uh, what it's done is actually made them um, parents to each other. But we don't want that, so I'll delete these, and I'll add manual static meshes. So I've added some wings, and then I'll add another static mesh. So down here, um, now I can just drag these down here one by one. So first we have our base, then we can have our wing, and lastly we can have our engine down here. Now I'm going to select my wings and drag them up out here. I'll move them forwards. So around here works. If you guys want to make them bigger, you guys can go back to um, Blender. Do that. You can just change the scaling down here. For example, if I do two, it looks you know it looks different. Can't say nicer or worse because that's down to um, opinion. But it surely does look different. And if you want to make sure that this goes exactly in the middle, you can go to perspective and choose front. And then when we go up, you can work out uh, where the center point is, which in my case would be around here. So now it's re exactly in the middle. And then you can go back to the perspective mode. And there we have it. Then we have this and this. So now once you've done this, we'll just go to um, Event Graph. This bit is really easy. We'll use an um, Event Tick. You can right click and search for it or you should have one down here as well. And I'll do um, Rotation. So add Rotation. Um, a local rotation would work fine. There's different options. There's Relative, Fold and uh, Local. I'll just go with Local for now. And so for the Wings, um, which would be our Wings 2, I want this to rotate so every event tick, which is based, I believe, on the um, yeah, so on the um, frame rate, we want this to rotate by one. So now, if I compile and drag this out in this, into the scene, now if we press simulate, you can see that it uh, rotates. So every single frame it rotates by one degrees, which gives us this some um, this some smooth rotation animation. So um, after we have. Um, made our main turbine and it's working fine. Now comes the topic of um, actually adding, um, adding ra um, randomness to these. Um, so let's say you have a group of them, so you want the, uh, so you don't want the wings to be rotating all at the same time, or rather you want them to, you know, um, be randomized a little. Um, so for that what we can actually do is, so there's two ways of actually um, achieving that. The first way is if we go to our if we right click on our blueprint and we duplicate that and I'm just going to drag this one out here and then duplicate this so the first one again and drag this one out here so that's the first way so first way is we open this up we change the value down here to maybe let's say 0.8 which would obviously change the outcome and for this one if we change it to maybe 1.5 it would be spinning a lot faster than the um, other ones so now if we were to simulate for example as you can see um, they are not spinning at the same speed rather they are all spinning at um, different speeds so this um, what this method does is uh, this method allows you a bit more um, flexibility as to where you want them to uh, individually place them but if you were let's say uh, so if I go back to my first one 
There is another way, which is if you were to, let's say if you were to uh, select these. So these three, and then if you do, maybe, I'm not sure if Shift G would work in here. So you could actually Control C and Control V these, and then move them around this way. So now if you guys also have a look here, so whatever I do in here to this also um, updates in real time inside the scene itself. So you can also do this, which would allow you a bit more, um, you know, control I guess or something. And then inside here, you can add a new one for um, add um, another rotation and go about doing it that way. So you can have multiple and for example if I, I might as well show you guys, so if I go to event graph I can do add another rotation so add local rotation which would undefined out which mesh it is so it would be static mesh one so add local rotation to static mesh one and I can do this I'll do this like five so you can like really tell the difference so now if I compile and if I simulate this as you guys can see this this one is going crazy with them spinning and this one is spinning you know a lot slower so you can have multiple of these this way or you can do them manually one by one and you can obviously also adjust the um, sizes so you can have um, different sizes inside here now of course because this is a blueprint you can't you know uh, you might be able to um, procedurally um, um, generate them maybe but you can't like um, plant them with the um, with the foliage tool, tool or anything since they're not um, pure meshes so this is it guys I hope you guys um, found this useful I was actually um, playing GT5 and then um, I, I came across these and I thought might as well make them since I, um, I don't know, it just, uh, they just seemed a bit cool to look at. So this is it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.